started as an intern on Vice City's V Rock, then a full time DJ before turning to Los Santos based Entertaining America, and then Chatterbox. Now, after being forced out of town by overzealous regulators upset about payola scandals, drug problems, and continued accusations of sexual deviancy, he is back. Laszlo on Integrity 2.0. So everybody, you're listening to Integrity 2.0, and we're back. We have got funding. We got funding. We are back on the air. And as soon as I can figure the technology out and what a, a DNS is, we will be live on the World Wide Web, streaming uh, with what I believe is called a web page. That's right, Integrity 2.0 taking free speech somewhere entirely new. <laughs> the Internet. We're going global. Global people, like like all the way around. Or people like don't even wear bras or shoes. <laughs> it's a great big media reach around. And for once, Laszlo is not getting bummed. I am doing the bumming. <laughs> I'm bumming the world. <laughs> Where am I going to stick it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you take it, baby. You like that? Maybe I'll pull your hair, world. Maybe a little low, uh, below the equator. How do you like that? How do you like that? Who's your daddy now, world? Laszlo. Yeah, that's right. I am the Big Bang. <laughs> I'm back. I was a dwarf star, and now I'm fucking supernova. <laughs> so, everybody, uh, welcome Integrity 2.0. After a few weeks off the air, we're back. We got funding. And I want to say, seriously, uh, a, a quick moment. Thanks, Mom. Money's rotting in your 401k. The financial district screwed everybody in this country. Invested new media. Me. And now, your money is building a show business empire. One brick at a time. Today, Liberty City. Tomorrow, reach arounds. <laughs> I love you, Mom. This is the best thing you ever did for me. And I love you too, stepdad Isaac. I mean, I, seriously, I love you. Uh, you know, I admit I struggled when you came into my life and our family, but I really do love you. I know you're the man of the house now. I can accept the rules about the curfew. You know, I, I'm going to get my new place as soon as I find something suitable. I respect you. I respect your rules. I cherish our time together. There. All right? I said it. Okay. Liberty City, the media. It's a fucking jungle out there. Like a like a Greek girl's pants, you know? Thick shrubbery. I'm talk, talking like undergrowth, overgrowth, where she's busting out the sides you know, in a massive sweet spot that emanates juice. That's me. Yeah, I'm the G-spot of radio. And I'm back. I, I'm a middle-aged man who has been forced by the collapse of global media to move back in with his mom and his truly wonderful stepdad, Cockface, um, I'm sorry, I mean Isaac. And yet, my namesake, Lazarus, that's my name. I'm back from the dead. It's Laszlo 2.0, Integrity 2.0, maybe even 3.0 some days. You know, beaten but never broken. You can't take a broadcasting titan down. I learned that. And, and trust me, I'm no exception. I'm here to stay, like the national debt or syphilis. I'm that unwelcome itch and pus-ridden sore that just won't die. I'm telling the truth about the city, to the city, for the city, and any corporate sponsors who want me to put in a good word for them, trust me. I'm available for sponsorship. I'll tattoo your shit I'm a junk. <laughs> I don't care. I know about branding. You know, I do public appearances. I go out there, uh, give some shit away. T-shirts, dog. T-shirts. I'll hand out samples of your product, spray cheese, cigarettes. I'll give them to kids. I don't give a shit. I love capitalism. I hate taxes. Um, and about the appearances, you know, I got good rates. I'm a funny guy. I make people love me, and, and, and that means they'll love your product. Uh, my last public appearance was incredible. It, it was for my Stepniece Jill's bat mitzvah. I mean, they didn't pay me formally, uh, you know, so I sort of grabbed what I thought I was worth out of that, that bag they hand around. I mean, you know, it's the honor system, really. Integrity is what the show's about. You know, I did a bit of stand-up there. The, the Beanie Kids, <laughs> they love me. I don't think they're allowed to watch TV. You know, they related to my stories about sleeping with fat rock groupies. They really did. I told this incredible joke about incest. <laughs> Man, it was shocking. I mean, it was daring, but it was true. My stepdad's family's riddled with the stuff. I mean, family tree like a tent pole. More inner cousin marriage than a bunch of hillbilly hamsters. And you married into that family, Mom. Nice one. You know, Dad's not so bad. So he drinks a little bit. I drink every day. Huh? And Martin, my brother, you're, you're Judas and a loser. Being a rich TV producer is not cool anymore. This is fucking the 2000s, bro. Nobody watches TV. We steal everything on the internet. That's why I'm gonna be a new media player, you know? Playing this city like a dirty old man plays a tween chat room. Just that amazing feeling, wondering if when you go over to her house, 
Is it going to be a setup? Uh, we're coming to you almost live from the streets of Liberty City, talking to real citizens, prominent street folk, you know, disadvantaged people, people in wheelchairs with one leg, urban characters, stinky homeless people, you know? God damn, boy, you just talk and talk and talk and never say nothing. What? You're going to pay me my goddamn money like you said. I've been playing this goddamn saxophone, walking with your ass for three blocks. Yes, you've been walking with me for three blocks because I need theme music, you moron. And something about a saxophone just says, the streets. It says, I'm lonely, I'm gritty, there's a siren in the background, it's raining, I've just thrown up on myself. Should I play some jazz or sit on my pea-stained mattress and cry, tie off my arm, insert some skag? Bitch, what the fuck you talking about? You said you're gonna pay me two fucking dollars! Uh, I haven't got change, all I got is a five. Don't you have change? You're, that's what you do, you're supposed Hey man, fuck you, I got to learn a living out here, buddy. Uh, so am I, so the fuck am I? Look, I'll give you a five. Just sing the song I told you to sing at the beginning of the show. I can't remember it. Well, here's a hint. Who's your favorite radio celebrity? Martin Sirius? <laughs> Martin Sirius? Fuck that hack sellout. Me, Laszlo. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, right. I love your show. I love it. Leslie with the show Intimacy. Leslie? It's Laszlo with integrity, not intimacy. I mean, they offered me that gig, but even I won't stoop that low. You know, a couple sexuality show, taking calls from perverts and morons in the middle of the night, how to keep things hot in your marriage when she's as frigid as an Eskimo. Isn't fidelity sexy? Let's talk about marital aids. I mean, give me a break, people. Nobody wants to hear about sex on the radio, please. Come on, Clarence. It's Theodore. Bullshit. All saxophone players are called Clarence or Walter. Now, if you're a musical people, you sure are cranky. Say what? What'd you, what'd you say? I mean, homeless people. Homeless people. I'm not racist. Uh, let's face facts, ladies and gentlemen. Fair people of Liberty City. I may have stumbled in life. Stumbled, been on my knees a little bit, but I'm a man. A tiger. I'm Laszlo. And a tiger needs cubs. She was an intern. It was rock and roll. What do you expect? You know, I really thought my wife was more sophisticated than that. But no, what did she do? After she found out, she ran off with my best friend, you cliche-ridden bitch. You're ridiculous. Well, you didn't tame me, and you couldn't tame me. You've tamed him all right. I saw the pictures of you guys online on your around-the-world vacation. Oh, I'm sure that was a lot of fun. Sure, he's smiling now. You know I'm packing more junk than him. Trust me. I'm the king of whiskey, dick. But when I'm sober, I'm a fucking tiger. That's a fact. A fact. Plus, I know I'm bigger because I measured when he was asleep. Seriously, if that was all I was packing, I wouldn't be sticking photos of anything on the internet, let alone putting beautiful rendered pictures of my above-average broadsword on sites with a caption that says, what do you think, ladies? And they use the letter U instead of Y-O-U. Uh, not that I've ever done that. I, I haven't, but I mean, seriously, what do you expect? Look at me. Women can't handle me. I've got all the chromosomes, X, Y, Z, all of them. I'm a male. You, hot young jogger. A layer of sexy she sweat forming on your attractive bow. You want to bet a star right now? Fuck off, creep. This is called running, not jogging. Jogging's for dorks like you still stuck in the 80s. Maybe if you ran a little, you wouldn't have man tits. Tit, tits. These are pecs. They're man tits. Pecs. I can bench press 80 pounds. Smell my pheromones, huh? I don't even use deodorant. <laughs> Natural. Oh, you may think you have a great rack, but gravity always wins in the end. <laughs> Those puppies, <laughs> they'll turn into big old dogs soon enough. That's the great thing about getting older, is chicks' boobs sag, but our schlongs just get bigger. <laughs> She probably just wants me to chase her. Women love the chase, like a tiger chases a gazelle. You know, I'm really into this nature motif at the moment. Maybe I should get a satin jacket with a tiger on the back so the, the ladies know exactly who they're dealing with. Yeah, like tigers, I'm an endangered species, you know? And I would chase her if it weren't for you, Laz fans, because I know you deserve more than me running after some ass, running after some jogger in the park, which I know I could bang. I know. I mean, you want a radio show, not to hear me bang. I know you need more than just the, the wild beast philosophy of a rhino let loose on the, the great plains of Middle Park, impregnating she rhinos, conquering the world, a massive horn. I really need to spread my scent a little right now. And by that, I mean pee. 
Jesus, I've been standing out here for ages. It is impossible, let me tell you out there in Radio Land, it is impossible to find a place to pee in this city, and the fascist shops won't let you use the bathroom unless you buy something. Which is why I like to do as the true locals do, and just piss in the street, like in this flower bed. Watch this. It's okay, I'm, I'm just demonstrating something for the radio. Shit, uh, let's take a quick break. Come back here! Stopping global warming has finally gotten cool. Street style meets environmental concern with this seriously bad, morally good, fully customizable luxury VIP style hybrid sedan. The Karen Dilettante. Expensive, but the earth is worth it. She'll swoon at your low exhaust emissions and maybe let you do a bit of exploring of her exhaust too. If you understand real bling, you can make it run on expensive champagne and fine cigars. Save the planet for only $39,999. The Karen Dilettante. Bad plus good equals better for everyone. He's still a dork. And people keep giving him jobs. Maybe they feel sorry for him. It's that wise-cracking doofus, Laszlo, only on Integrity. All right, we are back. Radio broadcast almost live from the streets of Liberty City. This is your city brought to you only on Integrity 2.0. The station has really brought a new meaning to Integrity. It's brought a new meaning to media. You know, I take the values of new media and I bring them to old media. You know, that's raging ego, substandard content, and heartbreaking inanity. I'm just kidding. This is about cutting edge free speech, a spirit of innovation, adventure, paid for by our sponsor, which I should mention, this episode of Integrity brought to you courtesy of Isaac Hammerstein and Daughters Funeral Services, burying your dead to their final resting place with dignity. So much dignity that at a funeral, while I'm fucking crying my eyes out, you pick up a dead man's sister, even though she isn't properly divorced from my dad yet. My mom is dating some dude who touches corpses all day. Hey, can you imagine that? I just get creeped out touching his leathery old uh, formaldehyde hand. Ugh, everything around the house has these yellow stains on it. And everything's about death. I'm about life. I mean, not like uh, like a protester, because I've done the other thing a few times, but I mean, we had to. She was young. But listen, if your loved one passes away, which they always do, usually at a really inconvenient time, like when I'm snowboarding or too stoned to drive, get them buried by Isaac Hammerstein and Daughters Funeral Services, bringing dignity to a difficult time at new recession prices. And maybe then, old Isaac can join your family. <laughs> I'm just joking. I, I, I love you, you old goat. Seriously. Seriously, when I, when I die, I want nothing more than your hand up my ass and your straw sucking the brain out of my skull and replacing my bodily fluids with toxic chemicals so a bunch of assholes can sit around and pretend to cry like they cared about me. Nobody cares about me. Um, as you can see, sponsors, advertising on Integrity 2.0 is a personal service that I bring you and your target demographic, you know, together in a harmonious way, like in a 70s record where everybody's high. Yeah, I make these reads personal. I'm cutting through the marketing nonsense. Uh, speaking of nonsense, Integrity 2.0 is expanding. We are becoming a team. That's right. Integrity 2.0 taking over. It's like how things are merging these days. You, you used to go to Clucking Bell, and that was great because you wanted to eat a bucket of chips and then go home and cry. And then you said, if only Clucking Bell and Burger Shot were in the same place, I could enjoy both at the same time. So then you're like, what if all fast food restaurants were like at a truck stop? Like, if the world was a giant food court. We're making radio a giant food court. And out in the parking lot, a man will kidnap your daughter. That's life on the open road. I know. <laughs> My sister disappeared that way. <laughs> and I didn't do it. Why would I kill my sister? But anyway, we're taking on a team of highly skilled, well-paid interns. Pay not in cash, but in exposure, experience, a degree in the University of Laszlo. That sounds like an awesome t-shirt. University of Laszlo. Uh, and without further pomp and circumstance, let me introduce you to the, the show's new intern, assistant to the producer, Jorge, uh, but I call him Georgie Boy. It's Jorge. Georgie Boy is what liberals call an undocumented worker. <laughs> But he's my little buddy. Aren't you my little buddy? No. Uh, Jorge the intern. Let me ask you. If you die of sunstroke outside a hardware mega store waiting for work, uh, where would you like your body to be taken? El Salvador. Right.
right, El Salvador, which is Spanish for the Savior. And who is our Savior? Isaac Hammerstein and Daughters Funeral Services. Correct. They saved this show and my career. So let's get to it, Georgie boy. Jorge. Right. Whatever. What I need is an intern to bring me ideas, okay? I be funny. I am funny. I get all the credit. You learn a valuable lesson at the University of Laszlo. Jorge, tell me, where did you work before? In Nicaragua. Nicaragua, which is a company that sells nicotine water. See if you can get them to sponsor the show, man. I'm addictive, and I'd love to drink nicotine water. So, Integrity 2.0 is more than just a radio show. We're a radio show that walks the streets of Liberty City, feels the pulse, see if it's if it's dead, you know, uh, like you sometimes do with a girl that's drank too much, and it's not date rape. You caress the thighs, you get slapped, you stick in a finger. It's real radio. I mean, any successful radio show needs a sidekick. So, as I stand under this decorative awning, smoking a cigarette, Jorge's out there rounding up potential sidekicks for me to interview. Mr. Laszlo! Mr. Laszlo! I find you sidekick! Hi! Do you have a second for gay rights? Oh, God. It's one of these activists that are in every major city now. They stop people on the sidewalk. They harass them for money. They make them feel... They, you make people feel guilty. Come on! And don't you have a second for gay rights? A second? Well, okay, just a second. I mean, sometimes it's five minutes if I'm drunk and, you know, nobody's looking. We've got a petition here that would let gay people marry. G g lesbians? L lesbos? <laughs> Married? <laughs> right. That totally ruins the fantasy. Married people are hideous and sexually boring. All they do is talk about siding and shit. I mean, it, it ruined my first marriage when I brought another woman in. Because I was like, hey, time for a three-way. And she's like, how about no way, you balding has-been? And then she splits. She empties my bank account. And the woman I brought home, who I didn't know at the time was heavily medicated, she fucking sues me. Lesbo, lesbo. <laughs> I'm sorry. G Georgie here just... Just beginning to learn the language. Uh, uh, Georgie, uh, este muchacha no gusta muchachos. No. Uh, si, sí, uh, solamente gusta muchachas. Uh, uh, mucho licky licky, comprende? <laughs> Licky, licky. What are you telling him? Um, I told him you really like ice cream. He's looking at me really creepy and is pretending to lick between his fingers. Uh, you gotta understand, his people are very passionate about ice cream. It's, it's really hot where he lives in Peru. It's like the equator and shit. And ice cream melts so fast there, you gotta lick it off your fingers. Because it comes right off the cone. And, and often you have to lick it off your fingers in a V pattern. It's, it's Peruvian. Honduras. That's what I said. Georgie. Come on, let's stroll. God, what a great city this is. A great city to walk through. It takes you in, holds you tight. Georgie, now, I have an idea. Walk in front of me, clear a path, you know, make a big deal. You know what, take this camera, and as I walk, take pictures of me like you're the paparazzi. Say my name a lot. Make a huge deal, all right? All right, here we go. Go ahead. Laszlo! Laszlo, here! Over here! Laszlo! That's right. Excuse me. Pardon me, people. The paparazzi always hounding me at the pool, taking pictures of me in a swimsuit and on the internet all the time. God, they, they take pictures of me on the toilet if they could. I'm really sorry about this. Laszlo! You so famous! Like reality star! Uh, Laszlo! Over here! Oh my god, that's Laszlo. Who? You know, Laszlo. He was a talentless dick in the 80s. Man, he's short. And he's bald. What a homo. <laughs> Funny. Laszlo, homo, homo. No, Georgie, not funny. That's offensive and unkind. Homo, homo. No, no homo, homo. Great. Look what you did. You taught him a new word. He's going to get beat up outside the hardware mega store now. Oh, Georgie, check it out. It's one of those street musicians that, that plays on buckets and pans and stuff that they sleep on top of in the gutter. But poor people can't afford drum kits, Georgie. Hey, yo, brother, nice rhythm. Uh, give me some skin. You standing in my donation tray. Oh, shit. Oh, dude, shit. Man, I am sorry. Fuck, you spilled all my money. I guess it's a lesson for life. I I've just sort of redistributed your wealth to all these people walking by. Hey, that's his money, asshole. He, he beats on a fucking pot for that. Dude, this is chump change compared to what you could be making as my band. You, you know how late night talk shows have their, their own band? You could be the band, man. The Laszlo Show on Integrity 2.0 Orchestra. And, and since you can't even afford a drum kit, <laughs> I don't have to pay you shit. What the fuck? Uh, cool out. Homie, dog, let's not get all wound up. Turn your hate into rhythm. A rhythm of the streets. A rhythm of the night. Oh, whoa. 
Hey, hey, what are you doing? Hey! Ow! Get this motherfucking bucket off of my head. I need a drum, motherfucker. Fuck, let's take a commercial. Improvisational rhythm has come to Star Junction. It's a rhythmic music art performance extravaganza. It's the new performance rhythm sensation. Banging trash can lids for an hour. Critics say it's astonishing. Astonishing what people from out of town will pay to see. It's a story told by men and women fighting with brooms. Tap dancing with sanitation materials and a lot of heart. Hear them make music out of trash can lids. Matchboxes. Windows. Pregnancy tests. Fuck me. A homeless man. <laughs> and their own bodies. Get the rhythm of the night. Get the beat of the urban drum. Get access to an incredible merchandise purchasing opportunity, including incredible soundtracks and t-shirts, so you can live the rhythm 24-7. Banging trash can lids for an hour. Tickets on sale now. He's getting older, but not wiser. It's Laszlo on Integrity 2.0. All right, we are back on Integrity. You know, so many people come to this city, they never really discover the true Liberty City, like Star Junction, where the action is. To really experience the city, you gotta interact with the locals. In the tourist areas, the really cool areas, not like the ghetto places with restaurants you never heard of. If you go to Star Junction, you see people getting their picture drawn by a caricature artist named Lang Lee or Hing Hong or something like that. I am getting mine drawn at this very moment, and later, I'm gonna get my name written on a piece of rice. Then, I'm gonna take Georgie, huh, to the Statue of Happiness, right, Georgie? Yes. Yes, so we're going to remind him that some people actually play by the rules and immigrate legally. But me and Georgie, we don't play by the rules, do we? No. We are the <laughs> outlaws of radio, right? Yeah. Outlaws. And you're driving, and I'm hanging out the passenger side window, blam, 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 you know, shooting at the cops, and I hit one of the tires, and it flips over, and they all crawl out, and none of them are hurt. Just like on TV. We are outlaws of radio because I can make you laugh and Georgie can do some drywall work. Fuck you, Laszlo. Uh, listen, me jefe, I'm the boss. I'm here teaching you. I'm the professor of radio at the University of Laszlo. Georgie, tell me, how does my picture look? Huh? Is he capturing my, my brooding air and my romantic disposition? Helicopter landing pad. <laughs> what? Helicopter landing pad? What the fuck? Let me, let me take a look. Hey, you street urchin! No, good picture! Good picture, my ass! I told you, don't focus on the hair, and you've drawn a big bald spot in this. Focus on the ponytail, like a stallion's mane. Girls like to ride horses, often naked. They like a guy that's got long flowing locks that looks like he can play bass. What's his bald spot for? For helicopter. Shut up with the helicopter shit. Shut up, or I'll call the helicopter to come take you home, Georgie. Listen, I'm not paying for this picture, sir. I said draw me with a fuller head of hair, a nice ponytail, a goatee to please the ladies when I go down south of the equator. You know how I do it, Georgie. Yeah. South of the fucking equator. <laughs> I'm the king. A <laughs> Yeah. Well, I mean, not with you, Georgie, but, but with girls. With girls, right, Georgie? Girls, yes. Yeah, we're not gay, are we, Georgie? No. No. That's what I wanted to see in this picture. Look at this. You've given me man tits. I draw what I see. You have man tits. Ah, screw you and your crappy drawing. I'm tearing this up. You pay for that, you bald bastard. Come back here. Oh, let's take a quick break. Come on, Georgie. When I get married, I'm going to stay home and raise my kids. I'm going to be a stewardess. Oh, my God, no. You're a boy. The media fills our children's heads with dangerous ideas about what's proper for boys and girls. It's time to get back to basics with the Gender Roll Doll. The Gender Roll Doll is an icon to aspire to for all our children. Each doll has 30 sayings. Here's Kyle, one of our Gender Roll Dolls for boys. Men make money and get drunk. Let's go to a strip club. I solve problems with my hands. For girls, we have Stacy. She says all sorts of great things. You can hit me if the dinner's cold. It's okay if you cheat on me. My job is making babies. Hey, Timmy, what did the gender role doll teach you today? I'm going to be a CEO and fire everybody and give myself a big bonus. I'm going to have a fancy sports car and a trophy wife. That's a good boy. The gender role doll is available in toy stores or online at genderrolldoll.com. What is integrity in broadcasting today? 
cookie cutter monotony overseen by hand wringing lawyers, <laughs> irrelevant executives, paranoid consultants, and greedy fund managers and stockbrokers. Now, radio finally has integrity. It is the Laszlo Show. It's called Integrity 2.0 in association with Isaac Hammerstein and Daughters Funeral Services. It's my new station, my new sponsor. It's all me. How great is that? <laughs> and it's and I'm not egotistical. It's just it's it's what this town has been calling for. Radio's gone bankrupt. Okay, all the formats are shutting down. It's all sports talk and Hispanic stations. Who wants to listen to Hispanic stations? I do. Pre- precisely. I, I I don't understand a word they're saying, and every other word is goal. Listen, Listen, Georgie, where are we going next? Dance group. Grindy, grindy, pretty ladies. That's right. We grindy, grindy the pretty ladies in America. I promised you I'd take you to see the nightlife of Liberty C and let the radio fans out there know where they can get some action. The clubs really define this town. They're vain. They're overpriced. So, intern Georgie and I are standing outside this hop and nightclub. Oh, I should mention, this segment is being recorded live. It's it's not broadcasting live. That technology kind of costs a fortune. Fortune, but one day, for all the people that will one day listen to my show on the internet when I revolutionize radio there too, so people in Uganda can be blessed with my discussions. They, they need some, some help, some, some American radio to entertain them sitting in the dust, for God's sakes. Let me tell you, Liberty City has got the best clubs, and a lot of them, even I have trouble getting into. <laughs> Just joking. I can get in anywhere. I'm the fucking, I'm the king of this town. I got, I got VIP access, you know? People recognize this face. There's there's one great spot in Alderney where they even paid me to go. And I threw t-shirts to people in the crowd and, and did shots with tan girls. And one girl let me feel her implants. It was epic, man. It was something else. It was some kind of party for uh, an insurance company. It was awesome. Anyway, this place that we're in front of right now is called uh, Maisonette 9. Hi. Uh, excuse me. Uh, this is the press. This is this radio show. It's Integrity 2.0, my radio show. Uh, my name's probably on the list. It's, it's Laszlo, my, my assistant called ahead. I don't see you on the list. Have a good night. You guys should try Bahama Mamas. That's your kind of place. Uh, Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Come on, bro. You need some celebs in there. And you've got one right here. I'm sorry. Not after last time. You know, if I wasn't working, you'd be in some real trouble right now, dude. (laughs) I'd break your neck, you big piece of shit. Oh, you've got size, but I've got speed. I know martial arts. Right, Georgie? Yes. That's right. Georgie's seen me bust some mad moves. Like kung fu, like jump up in the air and everything. Slow-mo. Slow-mo. That's right. Slow-mo, bitches. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, fuck that. Come on, Georgie. I'm not going to stand here and get laughed at by a, a bunch of vapid bitches. <laughs> Look, everyone. It's Laszlo. Laszlo, it's Laszlo. Laszlo, no get in. Ba- Laszlo, no get in. <laughs> Shut up, you little shit. I'll have you deported. I- I'm not an ugly American, but I will have you deported. You asshole, Laszlo. No, I'm not asshole. I'm an entertainer. <laughs> There's a big difference. That, that place is over anyway. Let's go to Bahama Mamas, man. They love me in there. But <laughs> last time I was there, it was kind of a gentleman's establishment. But uh, not, not that uh, not that old Laszlo ever has to pay for it. Laszlo pay for it. No. Laszlo has never paid for it. Girls give it to me for free. And the clubs, I get in free all the time. A- anyway, where's this other club? No sé. What? No sé. No sé what? Say something. Eh... Mm, uh... Man, your English is a joke. It's really embarrassing. And you know what's also embarrassing? Bad embalming. Remember, people, if you die, Isaac Hammerstein and Daughters. Death with dignity. Leathery old hands that touch your mother. And they sponsor the show. (laughs) And trust me, when they say daughters, they do so to let you know they aren't pets. I mean, seriously, if your mom gets remarried, you hope for sexy stepsisters. You know, something interesting, lonely, that that kind of thing. Isaac Hammerstein's got a a couple of wildebeests on his hands. I mean, ugly. (laughs) word isn't enough. There needs to be a new word to describe them that means so ugly that there's an earthquake and mirrors crack. And and one of them, God, she has the nerve to ask me to stop touching her? Should have billed her, huh? She was lucky. She's trying to do her a favor, boost her confidence a little. You gotta boost fat girl's confidence with a little ass grab, you know? You play little doctor like you, you always do with your sister, huh? And what does she do? She calls me a molester. How can you molest something that's not even human? It's not molesting if they're ugly. Trust me, I've been doing it for years, and it doesn't count if they're not human. It's called science, people. Science. 
which is examination. Molesting is when they're human and can complain or, or they don't like peanut butter on their junk. <laughs> Those sheep wouldn't have complained if they could have. They were loving it. They looked like, uh, you know, the way I get when I'm in a day spa sometimes, even when it's a guy massaging you. You know what I mean. Don't say it's just me. Where is this place? We've been walking around forever, Georgie. I know it's around here somewhere. Man, this town at night is horrendous. Drunk people, homeless people, no one's normal. What are we gonna do? I can't believe I can't find this place. That's what the suburbs will do to you. I used to know downtown Liberty City like my own penis. Every highway and byway. Now I'm not so sure where the hell I am. Uh, excuse me, uh, mister, do you know where there's a good club around here? For people like you guys? <sighs> no, for my mother. Yes, of course, for someone like me. Not us. D don't mind him, he's just my intern. Sure, whatever. <sighs> Yeah, there's a place down the block on the left. It's a club you really like. It's called Hercules. <laughs> Sounds like my kind of place. They must have named it Hercules because it's for people that are gods. <laughs> I can roll with the beautiful set. Me, tan, virile. Cool. Hey, thanks a lot, man. Come on, Georgie, let's go find us some nightlife. Man, can't wait to go in and meet some hot piece of ass, grind on her. There is nothing like rubbing your groin against a complete stranger to, to make you really love life. Hercules, man. Hercules. I, I've never heard of this club. I like the Greek theme, though. Love it. I love gyros and short chicks. Should be a blast. I even like a, a big nose. Georgie, I think we are finally going to get lucky tonight, you know? Well, this must be the spot. And judging by the line, all the chicks are inside already. Maybe they do one of those women get in free before 10 p.m. offers that really brings out the skanky sluts, you know? A couple well drinks, and next thing you know, she's banging you in the bathroom. <laughs> My kind of girl. Girls, ladies night tramps and give it up for free shots. I love them. I love sluts. Mm. You know, you really should have seen the 80 sluts, Georgie. <laughs> they were phenomenal. All right, Georgie, let's go and catch herpes all over again. Everyone, this has been Integrity 2.0. We're broadcasting from the streets of Liberty City. I'll let you know how we do in here. Hola, muchachos. Este es Lazlo aquí. Este, este gordito es Lazlo. Y quiere tener sexo con tres hombres al mismo tiempo. Escojan a ver quién. That's right. I am a celebrity. Thank you very much. And I'm here. Oh, wow, everybody seems really interested in me suddenly. What do you use your Fleece of Cards for? I use my Fleece of Cards to lay out enormous lines of chop. I wore it out and they sent me a new one. From drug dealers to terminating pregnancies to trannies, it all takes Fleece Fleece it's time to start paying. In a town where radio stations flip formats every three months, here's another station you'll miss if you blink. Integrity 2.0.